Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to another podcast, another YouTube video. Um, yeah, we, we're here in we're here in the in the garage again. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, the word crazy. We're going to talk about the word crazy. We're going to talk about China. We're going to talk about China. And we're going to talk about the Australian government. We're going to talk about our Oz government. All right. Just written them down up on the whiteboard. That way then I can just try and stay on track, stay focused. We're going to talk about crazy first, okay, because it's the first one on the list. Crazy, crazy. I've right, been called crazy, been called a fruitcake, been called a conspiracy theorist. Now, you realise that, you know, the problem is with these people that get, that get all half cocked and um, it's like putting one bullet in a double barrel shotgun. These guys haven't fully equipped it. Um, they haven't put the, the, the two bullets in, right? So, thing is, when you call them, the people that are generally classified as conspiracy theorists are people that are a little off center. So they're not, not as in uh, mentally wise, but uh, off center as in like off the grain of following whatever the government says or following whatever the, whatever the media says or these generally these people are the ones that aren't afraid to ask questions and then search a little bit deeper. They're not afraid to ask questions and find answers. They're not afraid of that. You know, they're not afraid to go, oh, well, hang on, that doesn't sound right. That, that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound at all right to me, you know. Um, and, and the word conspiracy theorist was created. The name was created when John F. Kennedy was shot. Okay, the CIA created that word so that they could throw people off, so that those people wouldn't ask questions. So people, so the general public wouldn't ask questions. Okay, so then, when 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 a big organisation like the CIA and and those controlling bodies uh, throw out a word like that, drum roll, everybody thinks, oh well, it must be true, it must be true. That person must be crazy. That person must be a fruitcake for thinking that. They must be, they must be a, a different shade. They must be wearing their tin hat. All right, not all tin hat wearing people think that aliens exist. Okay. All right. I for one, I'm not. I'm, I've, ne I'm, I've never. I've never. I've never said they don't, and I never said they do. I'm. I, you know what? If they exist, awesome. If they don't, outstanding. Okay, outstanding. But it doesn't matter. Okay, what I think about aliens. It's not, it doesn't matter what you think about aliens. So to 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 what is it? At what point is it to to cast judgment on someone and call them crazy because they don't agree? with the system. They don't agree with what you're being told. They want to question it. Why is that person justifiably crazy? Why do you justify in saying that about them? Why do you justify yourself calling that person a fruitcake? Because they don't agree with you? You know, I had a post yesterday on Facebook. I shared it and it was a Donald Trump, uh, Sky News Australia, um, presented the facts that the WHO, you know, the World, uh, Health, the World Health Organization, had admitted that they'd fucked up. All right, they admitted they fucked up. All right, they admitted it. He admitted it. The, the guy, the, the, the whatever his name um, starts with T. I can't remember how to pronounce it, but he he come out and said, "Yep, we admit that we made a mistake, uh, and we will use these as key areas to learn and get better." Now, why did he do that? Because his biggest funding country pulled the pin. Donald Trump had the balls and the the, the, the moxie to do that. All right, Donald, Donald J. Trump decided, yep, I don't, I don't like the way that the WHO handled this situation, even though I um, shut down flights from China and Europe. I said, no more flights from China and Europe, no more, no, nah, we're closing our borders to the European and we're closing our borders to China. Even though he just done a monumental deal with China, he closed the borders and he got slaughtered for it. He got called names, he got called a xenophobia, he got called a racist, he he got called for going too early, 
they got told that it, it wasn't necessary and at the same time that they were doing that the other side of the fence over there as in as in the democrats were nancy pelosi was trying to tell everybody let's have a party in chinatown and yet donald j trump stood up for something that he believed in he believed that he should close the country and he did he closed it in january all right he stopped lights people went off if he hadn't have done that and listened to the who who were playing it down they would have had over 60,000 deaths now do you know that they projected at the start of this for america they were projecting between one and three million deaths one and three million that's a lot of people, even in, even in a, 300 million, a 300 million population, 3 million people is a lot of people. Okay, 20,000 is, a, yes, a lot. 20,000 people is a lot, and it's, it's sad. It is very, very sad. But at the same time, it could have been a lot worse. It still can be a bit, it still can get up to, uh, you know, 40,000 or whatever, but it's not going to be anywhere near the millions, which was first predicted by... Trump's team of experts who he not, he didn't listen to because he'd already closed the borders and they were telling him to leave it open. They were telling him that it wasn't bad. It wasn't being transmitted from human to human. Um, it, it, they, you know, and then that, he got called crazy. Just like most of us out here that question the media and question the governments and question people, you know, the biggest, and I posted that, I posted that. And what I said was that even though people rag on Donald Trump, we'll get back to the point of that, okay? Even though people rag on Donald Trump, um, he he stands up for what he believes in. And it got me thinking after I wrote that. He, he, he stands up for what he believes in and he gets what he wants done because he thinks that, he, he believes that what he's doing is for the right cause, okay? Now, when we're kids, aren't we taught that? Aren't we taught as children to stand up to our bullies? Aren't we taught to stand up for the things we believe in? What happens between being a kid and then becoming an adult and then everybody out there questions you and starts saying that you're crazy because you stand up for what you believe in? I didn't believe, and I still don't believe, that the measures that we have in place are necessary. I do not believe that. I believe that my freedom is being taken away from me. I believe that. I didn't, I didn't consent to anybody um, saying I had to stay home. I didn't consent to that. I didn't say, all right, Scamo, you, you know, you, all right, let's, I'll, I'll agree to that. I don't agree to it. I don't think it's necessary. But do, if, you, if you think it's necessary, that's okay. I don't think you're crazy. I don't think you're mentally um, unstable. I don't think you're a fruitcake. That's your opinion. That's, you, that's your opinion based on whether, if you're informed, that's your opinion. And if you're ill-informed in your opinion, that's okay too. It doesn't matter. So the thing is, I put that up and then someone just said, someone had said that um, you know, he's got to blame someone. Now, if you go back to like two minutes ago, he can't, he, he has someone to blame and he, he's not trying to put the blame on anybody else because he fucked up. He couldn't have fucked up. He was told the information he was told and he still closed the country. And you think he's crazy and you think he's arrogant and you think he's demo demonstrative. The guy is consistent. If you go back and watch movie, uh, videos of him in the 80s and the 90s, he literally says when he's, when he's, when <laughs> he literally tells you what he's going to do in the future. He has been preaching the fact that America isn't great since the 80s. He has been preaching that America has been copping a raw deal since the 80s. He's been, he has been saying the economy in America is t not great since the 80s. He's been saying that in his interviews. And people ask him, why wouldn't you run for president? What, if you ran for president, what would you do? And he says it in the 80s. He says, I would fix America. I would take back the things that we deserve. I wouldn't, we're getting a raw deal, okay? He, he, he firmly believed it in the 80s. He firmly believed it in the 90s. And when he became president, guess what he did? He fixed it, okay? He returned manufacturing back to America. He took the black population 
uh, to the lowest, lowest unemployment rate it's ever been at, as well as the Hispanic and other ethnic communities. But yeah, he's racist. He apparently he's racist and he's he's a, and he's scared and he's and he's a, he's, a, he's a xenophobia. How is that possible? You just had a black president before him who is a Muslim, and you that he didn't do it. He didn't change the unemployment rate for black people. I'm not saying Obama's a good guy or a bad guy. I'm just saying that you look at the two, right? The thing is, when people come up with an... Uh, and that person said that that's what he was doing. He was, he was blaming the who. Well, that's incorrect. Because he's blaming the who. He's not blaming the who, who to take the, take, take the brunt off his shoulders. Because there's no brunt on his shoulders. He's not looking to point the finger at anyone because he's trying to, trying to win a campaign. Okay, he's going to win the campaign. He's going to shit at him. He's going to be... He is going to win by a fucking mile. Okay, he's going to practically... The person whoever goes up against him is not going to stand a chance, especially if it's Joe Biden. Okay? The, the, the problem is people call you crazy, but yet they don't do their own research. They don't do their own... Uh, they don't dig. They don't ask questions. They just go along with whatever's being said about someone. And it's not cool. That's not good. Okay, that's not that's not fair on the individual who's uh, voicing their opinion because we've been told as kids, if you believe in something, you should stand up for that. If you believe in something, you should voice it. If you believe in it, that you know that's you, if you believe in it and it's and it's and it's what you believe, you, you're entitled to be able to talk about it and, and be able to share that and and whatnot. Okay, and and, as, and that's what we're taught that as children. I teach that to my children now. I was taught it as a kid. Uh, look, if you believe in it. Stand up for it. Stand up for the things that you believe in, all right? You d don't call people crazy, all right? What's crazy? What's crazy? Not you cr are crazy. What's crazy is that if you're one of them people that call other people crazy for having um, a different point of view or a different viewpoint or a different opinion, maybe you should maybe you should just go down the track and have a look, you know? It, it, if, let's use that as an example, all right? I'll just, and we're going to say track, because let's go, we're on a bushwalking track, all right? There's two ways. I can go left or right, all right? Okay? If there's something down the left, down the left side, let's say there's a fucking wolf down the left side, and there's a snake down the right side, and I told you, hey, there's a wolf over here, right? Would you believe me, or would you not believe me? And if so, if you believed me, without checking... Cool, but would you check? Or would you just go, yep, there's a wolf down there? It might not be. It might not be a snake over there. If you tell me there's a snake over on the right track, I'm going to be like, yes, sweet. Give me a look at that thing. What kind of snake is it? You know, what, what colour is it? Where's, is it, a, is it a brown snake? Is it, uh, is, it a, is it a copperhead or is it, what is it? What kind of snake is it? Is it a whippet? What is it? You, you're going to say to me, well, are you sure that's a wolf? It looks like a dog. What kind of dog is that? That's not a wolf. You see what I mean? You get a, you, 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 or you could go, well, he, he's fucking crazy. He sees, he's, he's over there seeing a wolf. But you haven't been over there to check. You haven't been down that track to have a view. You haven't been down there to go, oh, hang on a minute, shit. Mate, you got that wrong. But that, 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 that's definitely a not. That's definitely a dog. But it's not a wolf, okay? So, you see, that's the point. That's the point of view. It's, it's, it's about, and that, I guess that's the key takeaway right here is that you've got to go down the track to understand what that person's trying to say or what they're trying to express. Um, you know, when I, I, I post daily, I try to post daily, I should say try, I try to post daily the statistics for the cases in Australia versus recovered and versus how many's in ICU and how many's not. So every day... It, Try to do it every day. Not every day I get to do it, but the days I do it, what I do is I, I get the, 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 the amount of cases and then I do the math and minus the... Because the media doesn't do that. The media doesn't say... They don't tell you. They go... They will tell you that there's 6,500 cases, there's 3,200 recovered, but they won't tell you how many... They'll just go back to the, what, that's 6,000 cases. They'll go to the big number, Okay. 
big number. It, it's the same as in sales. If you tell someone in sales, right, and I, I've got experience in this, I've, and, I've, and I've worked this one in network marketing within the first three to six months, I was telling people that it's only $145 a month, right? They wouldn't buy it. Once I started breaking it down and I started giving them the smaller number, oh, it's only like a, 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 a buck, a, $3 a day. We'll go with $3 a day. That's only $3 a day, mate. That, that's only $3 a day, that product. What do you spend $3 a day on anyway? You see, you break it down into the, to the more, and it doesn't, the severity isn't as bad. The severity in the cases isn't as bad. So let's take today's, for example, there's 6,000 something and there's 3,000 something and it works out to be 2,700 active cases. That's better than saying there's 6,000. So today in Australia, we've got 2,700 active cases. Congratulations, Australia, you're doing a great job. No, 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 we don't do it like that. And then people call me crazy. So I do that because that way then people are being informed on how many current cases there are. And then I also break down the ICU. So yesterday there was like, uh, was there 76 people in ICU? Today there's 60, 66. So that's 10 less people in ICU, meaning that's 10 more people that have recovered from the severity part of it and have been moved out, okay? And I also put in today that there is 40 less, there's 40 less cases than yesterday based on the mathematics of how many cases we had yesterday versus how many cases we have today, active cases, okay? Because the cases, the case number 6,000 is blown out. So people don't, people won't, people will just focus on that big number unless you delve into it and tell them. And that's what I'm talking about here, is just because someone's being informed and, and, and looking at it properly and taking it and digesting it and then and, and breaking it all down into a simplistic little version so that they can understand it and then they can go, hang on, that, that's that right there, 2,700 cases, that's not that bad. That's pretty good. You know, 2,700 cases right now is pretty good because the, there's, there's countries out there that have got 300,000 cases or whatever, you know, that's just an example. There's there's 20,000 deaths in America, 24 maybe, maybe. I haven't looked today, 24,000 deaths in America. But I'm crazy, all right? I don't take lightly to being called crazy because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I'm taking an educated mind and I'm, I'm looking at all the angles and all the points of views and I'm listening to this person, listening to this person, listening to this person, this person, and then I get all the information and I bring it back together and then I make my own decision and that's what the, that's the beautiful thing about being a human is. Like the beautiful thing about a human is, is you can go and you can ask questions and you can research and you can listen to this doctor and listen to that doctor and then go and listen to that doctor and listen to that health minister and then listen to that health minister and you can listen to that premier and then that prime minister and that president. And you can go and make your own informed decision on what you want. I'll take it, I'll give you another example of that. This morning, David Koch carried on, and he got his big puffy chest up. He's, right, he started to bark at Mark Latham about how, how do parents know parents aren't, um, aren't experts in, in medicine, radi, radi, ra. Um, and Mark Latham literally just shot him down. He's like, David. You're literally giving them, you just said you're giving them the information, you're giving them the, the, the data as it's being produced and, and, and what you're getting basically each and every day. You're getting the data and you're showing the viewers the data, which would be more than likely parents of who you're talking about, who aren't experts. So you just, you just slaughtered, you just slaughtered them parents and called them, how would they know they can't make an informed decision? And then, but you, you're providing them the data. See, that's, that's the problem with the media. They don't, they say one thing and then all of a sudden they'll attack you and then they'll say another thing to make you feel good. You make, the parents are making an informed decision based on the data that they're getting. And the data they're getting is from the channel that they're watching. All right? I'd suggest that people go to the health.gov or the health.org Okay, it's it's the the prime minister has been sharing it on his Twitter. He's been sharing it on his Facebook. He's been sharing it everywhere. All right, and it's actually pretty good. It's where I get my information from, and it's where I do the the, the story for me posts. So let's move on to China, China, because this will flow into this will um 
This will flow into crazy. This will flow into crazy. Uh, not so long ago, I was telling a friend that China made the fucking virus. People call me crazy. Isn't that crazy, hmm? That's pretty crazy. People call me crazy. So, people call me crazy. And we're going to try and get this one river. So now, there are global governments investigating China and the Wuhan lab. And they're probing at it because they now believe, they now believe that the virus was manufactured. Manufactured, okay? Manufactured. Did you know the SARS virus and the uh, uh, the Zika virus, all the viruses have patents on them? Do you know how a patent works? A patent is an ownership, an ownership. How can you own a virus if it comes from an animal? A patent is an ownership. This is why we can't sell hydroxychloroquine in Australia. It's because there is no patent on that product. It's warehouses full of it, but we can't use it because we can't sell it. And that means the government can't make money, but yet they want to save lives. Hmm. Interesting theory, Stephen. You must be crazy. Anyway, go research it. Um, let's talk about the Australian government and China. Right. Okay, China... And, and the Who. We'll talk about China and the Who, right? So China downplayed it. The Who downplayed it. They both downplayed it. The Who's now admitted, after being dumped by America, of their $400 million um, funding that they get every every year or whatever it is, from the taxpayers, by the way. By the way, you're a taxpayer in Australia, and your taxes go to many different things. And guess what your tax money goes towards? It goes to the Who. If you didn't know that, all right? The way we fund things in Australia. So you want to know how the UN gets funding and the WHO gets funding? You and me. When we pay our taxes, we pay the WHO. Because that's how the government pays everybody, off taxes. All right? That's why we get taxed on everything for some reason. We get taxed on everything. That, we'll do another video on that on another day. All right? So, so Australian government, so Donald Trump had the nutsack. And the balls, okay, he had the nutsack and the, the kahunas to go inside it to say, no, we're not going to pay you anymore. We're not going to pay you until you fix it. We're not going to pay you until you fix the system that you currently have. Because the system you currently have isn't working. You downplayed the virus. You downplayed China. China downplayed it to you. Rady, rady, rah. Okay, it's not good enough. No, but here in Australia, Mr. Scomo's, um, yeah, based on current criticism of the WHO, um, and, it, and it's valid. He even said that it's valid criticism, right? Even though it's valid criticism, Australia will continue to fund the WHO. Now, you're an Australian person, if you watch this. If you're an Australian person, actually, if you're a part of any government, uh, any citizenship, and, and you, you're governed by the government of that country, and you pay taxes to said country, guess what? You have a say. You actually have a say. You can actually view, unless you're in China. China is another story. Um, you can say, if it's a free country where democracy is the focus, um, you get to say, you get to have a voice. You get to have an opinion and you get to disagree. If your taxes are going to the who, guess what? You get to say, I don't agree with that. I don't get, I don't, I don't, no, I don't. I don't, I don't like that. You know what? And enough people that say they don't like that, eventually enough people will start protesting that and enough people will get enough voices here in australia we it, we have a song and, and it has some lyrics in it that you might be familiar with. familiar uh, i am one is it i am one we are many okay one one voice i'm one voice but we are many okay i am one voice but I, we are many okay so what you correlate that however you like i see that as i'm one one person right i'm one voice but with many voices we can be heard all right with many voices we can be heard um so no i don't like the fact that australia is going to invest in in launching an app that is looks like it's been like from what i've been reading is created in china from a chinese person all right from from China. This this application is being developed in China. 
and it's to trace and track COVID people. The only problem I have with that is that now it's it's tracking me and it's via Bluetooth, okay? It's a Bluetooth application. So if you get within Bluetooth range of someone who's had COVID, your phone will get an alarm and it will tell you that person's had COVID or they have COVID um, or, you know, they, they're going, they've just recently finished isolation. Issue is with that, everybody has to be tested. You can't just run an application like that and only test 20% of the population. You need to test you can't, and you can't put restrictions on testing. You want to run an application like that so that you can trace people, so people can know where other people are. You need to make testing available to every single human on Australian soil. You can't be selective. It doesn't work like that. Because what if, what if I go near someone and neither of us have been tested? How does, then what? I might have it, they might have it. I might not have it, they might have it. How do I know? Are they asymptomatic? It's a very touchy one, isn't it? So we're going to wrap it up, 26 minutes. Um, so if you're one of them people that like to call other people crazy because they think outside of the box and they like to look down all the different avenues before they make an informed decision, then maybe you should invest in some time in researching and trying to understand what that person's talking about. Um, because at the end of the day, we all have the right and the ability to free speech. We all have the right and the ability to free thinking, okay? And we all have the right and the ability to, to have an opinion and to, and to voice it. That's, that's a, that is a, I'm not a huge God-loving man, but that is a God-given right as a human being, okay? As a human being, we have the free will to decide what we want to believe in and what we don't want to believe in, Okay? That's, there's no ifs or buts about that. That is just, it's an absolute free right. Okay, we have, we we are an, an we are an amazing animal, as far as like you know being an animal is because we are we're an animal. But we are one hell of an animal because we can we can think and we can speak and we can talk. We can learn different languages. We can learn diff, We can even, we can learn how to speak sign language. All right, we can talk in many different forms but what's the point of being able to talk in many different forms if everybody's just going to tell you to shut up what's the point what's the point if if we've got ears and we can't use them to listen what if what is the point of having a brain if we can't use it to to investigate our own yeah you know, our own thoughts and investigate different avenues of different opinions and different viewpoints and listen to different doctors and listen to people that aren't on the television that are qualified that are um, an expert in their field just because someone's not on the tv doesn't mean they're not an expert just be, just, you got to remember that just because the news or um you know you you didn't get you know koshi or you didn't get Whoever's on Channel 9 nowadays, I don't even know. Or even if they're not on Sky News, you know. I watch Sky News a bit now, but um, if, 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 if something doesn't seem right, and it, generally if, you, if you've got a feeling that it's not right, then investigate it. Do your own research. The, the internet is fucking untapped. You can search anything, anything. Fuck me, man, there's free porn on this shit. Like, you can literally look up anything you want, as long as it's not sick, like, you know. Yeah, stuff but that's my, my my video for today my podcast for today um i hope you guys got a, a, some value out of it like i said i don't really do any fancy fancy stuff i just i just talk about the stuff that i've been researching i talk about the stuff that i've been learning i've been talking i've been listening to um robert green highly recommend those people who want to learn how to master things um i want to learn how to become the master communicator so um, it's been awesome for me to learn about um, um, mastery, learning how to how to how to how to approach mastering something and how to how to put effort and time and and, and what you need to do. So, Robert Green is really good. Um, if you if you're looking to research stuff, um, you know there's lots of stuff out there as far as what's going on with COVID. Um, the Chinese are obviously man-made the virus um but you know we're crazy because we think that <laughs> um and with uh only 20 seconds left i'm gonna say goodbye 
like, share, subscribe uh, for more videos. Um, and, you know, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you have any questions, send us an email. All that righty rah rah. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.